Oh, I have to press start. Okay. Dude, do I have to play seven? It is hockey. Rookie in playoffs, yeah. Okay, so you're six hours. Oh man, I always feel bad changing the length. So I'll, I'll leave it at seven. No, I definitely don't want it. Wait a sec. Oh, I don't know who's good. It's for all. I definitely can't play this quick split. It'll be Detroit. I'll just be the Caps. Okay, well, how do I do that? just plays DC. Oh. Alright. Sweet. No, I already did that. Oh, the Rangers? Psh, their sport, come on now. Get out of here. All right, we're finally playing. Thanks, man. How the hell did Zelda go? You've been streaming that a bunch. Holy! Game on, everyone. He shoots. Beautiful pass. Dude, what the heck? <laughs> I wasn't controlling anything. Icing. Oh, can we turn off? Now we're talking. 15 hours in, zero deaths. What are you trying to do? Like, what's the what's the goal here? The puck is dropped. Oh my god, it's kind of spazzing out. He strips him of the puck. 
Go get it. Damn. Ah. All right, this game is not the best. Yeah, man, it's so nice when uh, the uh, master mode reset on death. Jesus. That's too much. He hit the post. Yeah, that commentary. What's up, Crasher? Blocker save. I wonder who they got to do the commentary. Like, I wonder who this guy is. Can we just time him out? Can we do the Wayne Gretzky strat? Oh, my God. We could. How's the NHL going? Uh, fortunately, the game is very easy. Uh, cause the default difficulty was easy. Um, the game's not great. I wouldn't say it's bad though. It controls pretty well. Like it handles pretty well. But it gets like up in front of the net and stuff. It gets kind of crazy. Like hard to tell what you're doing. Oh, they scored. What I get for auto goalie? Game on, everyone. Oh, you <laughs> you did this? Just like get a lead and skate around? I mean, that's like that's what I did for uh, Wayne Gretzky 3D hockey. But that's because the CPUs were like messing me up. So if I got a lead. I just held it like it was too scary but then like in game seven I think it was the CPU got better and they I couldn't do it anymore oh what a save this guy's a human wall in there I love the uh, the meter on your shot he snaps it oh nice try -uh. Oh my god, Oli, come on. Yeah, you like that icing. Oh crap. He leaves him in a crumpled heap. Oh man. He wipes him out. Oh my god, pass in, pass in front of the net, come on. He's in all alone. Wrist it. There's like why is there no siren? Oh, because we're in New York. I was like, can I can I get a little uh can Game I get a little something everyone. for scoring here? Yeah, actually like this game is not that bad. Oh, I thought I had the book. Come here. Gretzky. No. Robbed. What the hell was that pass over? Risks it. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> I lost it. Yeah, that'd be hilarious. Auto goalkeeper just like throws the game. Oh, nice. One minute left in the first period. All right, one minute left. Woo! Oh, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, no, Adam. Yeah. They dropped the puck. Oh, great pass. Lands him. Get. Rick. Oh, save. come on. Oh. He's, He's so offside, it's ridiculous. All right, see how many laps I can do. Oh my God, the periods are so long. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. I feel like that's that's happened with baseball and basketball games where like the time the the periods are just so long. It's like the game's not hard, but it's just gonna last a long time. Puck is glued to the dude. Well that's just because, you know, Gretzky has his enforcers. My guys know that if they mess with Gretzky too much, they're just gonna get the crap beat out of him. So they're just letting him, you know, letting him go. Oh no, he lost it. Takes the puck away. What? Enormous save. He shoots. Oh, come on. That just takes more time. Game on, everyone. Strategies. Oh, nice try. So I guess, yeah. I guess, yeah. This could be like a pretty good game. Uh, you can change your offenses and defenses on the fly like that. That's pretty cool. Someone from Texas. Potential fraud. And blocked. Huge one -timer bang. Oh, you know, while I'm not looking. No, pass to the guy that's right there. Go at him. He leaves him in a crumpled heap. Damn. Get wrecked. They drop the puck. Nope. Nice try. No goal. No goal. Oh, come on. What? 
Go get him. Oops. I keep trying to push um, C left to check people. Because C left is used to like check and steal and stuff in a lot of other sports games. It's messing me up. Blocker save! Oh, he's got a clear pass to the net. Wow, that's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, I haven't tried the like spin moves or whatever. Northbound on a southbound freeway. Look out. He shoots and <laughs> scores. Oh man. Washington goal scored by Yeah, the hits and stuff and the shooting is definitely not the best in this game. But the movement is pretty good. Passing isn't the best. I'm not too thrilled with the passing. I don't know, the game's not terrible. Great save! I definitely uh, could have seen myself playing this, you know. In 1998. There's a two on none. Risks it. One minute left. All right, so it's always a spin move. Jesus. Great pass. Welcome to the road. Oh, checks are auto. Okay. He strips him of the puck. All right, so R did nothing. All right, I don't know what R does. Break away. Whoops. Wrist it. How the hell did that go in? They dropped the puck. Shut up. He slagged that one. Whoops. Oh, what? You just. He just lost the puck. What a bone crushing hit! Stick save! Northbound on a southbound freeway. Look out! He shoots! He steals the puck. Yeah, shots just seem a little off. Oh man. It's a two on one. A huge save. Go around the goal. Come on. He's in all alone. Blocker save. Man, this guy's making saves now. He runs him over. Get wrecked. Rebound. Woo. Yeah. Yeah, the devs definitely. Uh, next patch. Next time they patch NHL 99. That needs to get. That needs to get fixed. Game on, everyone. Where are they chanting? He ripples the mesh. Oh man! All right, I did not think that was going in. I don't want to score more. But yeah, again, uh, the game moves well, uh, which is nice. Like that's kind of that's pretty refreshing in a sports game of this era. A lot of them did not move nearly as well. 
Most notably the football, basically all football, soccer, and basketball games. Characters just don't move that well. Hockey games have been, for the most part, good. Another great sports game. Uh, Josh, it's not bad. Uh, fortunately, it's really easy, but the game isn't, I wouldn't say it's a bad game. Uh, this is probably the best non Wayne Gretzky's 3D hockey hockey game so far. Ouch. Freeway. Look out. Actually, I don't know. Maybe there was another one I played that was probably a little better than this. Dude, International Superstar Soccer. It's like it's a game that was really popular, especially, I think, in Europe. But it just isn't good. Granted, I played, I played ISS and ISS 98. Neither of those were good games. They were like bad. Um, so maybe 2000 is good because there wasn't a 99. Um, but FIFA Road to World Cup 98, that was actually a pretty good game. But yeah, ISS. It's just not good. It has like all these features in it, but the game just doesn't play well. We needed Midway to make a uh, soccer game. Yeah, oh, you played it a lot growing up. There you go. Like, I think ISS is a big nostalgia game for people. They, like, remember playing it, so they think it's good. If you go play it now, it's just clunky. As opposed to some of the, um, you know, Wayne Gracie 3D Hockey, NFL Blitz, Mario Tennis. Like, those are not clunky sports games. They actually feel pretty good to play. I can't believe this is my life right now. Realistic sports games were a mistake, yeah. Well, like, so this, this game right here, it doesn't have, like, huge crazy hits and, like, lighting nets on fire like when you go to 3D hockey. Like, this is, for the most part, a realistic sports game. And it's not bad. Like... I'm playing against, you know, the very easy CPU. So it's like, it looks kind of like a joke. Period. But I could imagine playing this with other people and, like, it would actually be good. And, you know, I turned off all the penalties and that, that kind of stuff, like line changes. But you, you can have all that if you want it. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, the more realistic a sports wow, game is, the worse it is. Look at NBA Jam versus another basketball game. You'll get wrecked. Idiots. Oh, nice. NHL 2002. All right, we're good. That was the part I missed, the controller setup. Why is it a red controller no matter what? Oh yeah, thanks Josh. I wanted to finish it. Like I'm so close to being done, but then I was like, ah, I gotta stream. And I can't stream myself working on the video because I don't think my computer can handle streaming myself working in After Effects. 
since you finished F-Zero, you're going to play F-Zero DD, the expansion. Um, so I didn't put any of the uh, the disc drive. Um, game, oh, I just shot at my own goal. Um, I didn't add any of the disc drive games. Um, I don't... Were the disc drive games... Um, were they released in North America? The puck is dropped. Holy crap. Yo, Rangers came to play today. Yeah, exclusive. Okay. So, basically, my list is all North America releases. Um, but if you... If you look at my list, you'll see that underneath all the North America releases, I do have the EU. Oh my God, that's good. <laughs> I do have the EU releases listed, and then underneath that, I have the Japanese releases. So it's like at some point, I would like to do everything. But first, I'm doing North America. Offside. Oh, I didn't. I have to do that every time. Yeah, I, I thought that the disk drive was ex uh, it was Japan only. Start a fight. I don't know how. Like, I imagine I just need to keep hitting people, so I'll, I'll do that. Oh, come on. It's a two on one. My puck. Oh, the freaking ref! How, why would you, why would you put hitboxes on the ref? Oh, man. Spin move. Oh, what a save. Easy. Easy. Also, how's it going, Bagel? I feel like uh, I haven't seen you in a while. He takes the puck Oof. away. Oh, have I had it? No. Enormous. Welcome to the Roadkill Cafe. Welcome to the Roadkill Cafe. That's this guy's line. <laughs> Imagine that's your line. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. Wow. Nice try. No goal. This guy should commentate every sport. Are you clipping that, Josh? <laughs> I have a feeling we'll hear it again. Oh my god, what a terrible pass by me. 100% me. He takes him out of the play hard. He strips him oh. of the puck. No. He wipes him out. He's in all alone. Oh, no, I was doing the spin move. Flattens him. All right, so one thing that I wish was less realistic about this game is um, passing. So, if you pass to a guy and they're not facing you, it'll just bounce off of them. Like, just just let the pass happen. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. Great save! Why? 
Why is it tied? Snags it. Oh, nice try. Nah. -uh. Nah, he didn't click it. Okay. If you have It'll happen again, hopefully. With lost and found at the south entrance. Really, they put lost and found announcements in here? Get him, Adam. Holy crap. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Really, I lost that. He crushes him. Oh, did he get smoked? Oh, come on. Give me one. He snaps it. Yeah, tripping the crap out of him. <laughs> one minute left in the first period. Dude, I have like 30 shots on Great goal. Pass. He is a human wall. The hell is this? It's a two on one. Dude, freaking ref again. Poop. Come on. They dropped the puck. All right, that was He's pretty fun, too. Oh, come on, I hit him. And that goes in. Freight train, choo! I wonder if it was actually a stick save, or they just used that sound sound bite. This guy's a human wall in there. And it's in the back of the net. At least they get the uh, the sirens now. Robert called Detroit at night a PvP in April. So, I mean, I'd say that about any city. Hey, man, someone was uh, someone shot in downtown Frederick like last week. Do you see at night? I mean, it's a city. It just depends on what part of the city you're in. He shoots. He scores. Southeast DC is a lot, uh, a lot less crazy than it used to be. But yeah, like, it just depends on where you go. Think about all the areas that count as Baltimore City. It's the freaking hell. Wow. Where's the puck?
Yeah, I mean that's that's what happens. Great pass. Oh, he got his pad on that one. I mean that's also what's happening to like every city. Like you look where the convention center is in Detroit for Big House. And then you go like, you know, half a mile away from it and it's a very different area. He takes the puck away. Rift. Oh, come on, get it, get it. Skate save. It wouldn't, I, I was trying to like shoot it along the boards and it didn't let me. It like had to shoot it towards the goal. That would even hurt me. Mm. He runs him over. Had that one set up. Great save. No, get there. Oh, now he got it. Just didn't want to get the puck. Turning around could be a little easier in this game. Oh, what a save! Would be nice if turning around was easier. Oh, come on. Yeah, like how I make one tweet about rendering video and uh, that like random company is like, our computers are, can render anything. It's probably like a $4,000 computer, first of all. Second of all, who the hell are you? Man, this game's close. It's like really hard to get someone from behind right there. Robbed. Beautiful pass. He shoots. Sweet 
everybody so. Oh, hit him. Break away. Blocker save. Get it. Get it. <laughs> Someone get it. Hit the post, come on. Come on. I'm scored off. He's off. There we go. He's in all alone. Risks it. Come on. You gotta score those. Just levels him. He stoned him. Oh, I thought I had that. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. No, I did it again. This guy's a human wall in there. Goal. Nice call. Goal. Save. He runs him over. I probably should just be playing keep away right now. But I want to score. Oh, the dude, I got juked. Beautiful pass. Denied. That's like the dumbest thing I've seen. <laughs> Why is that a whole button? Oh, nice try. No. -uh. Like that spin move shot gets its own button. What L? Him. Can I use the? He's in all alone. I can't. Risks it. He takes the puck away. So L doesn't do the same thing as Z. He stoned him. Like it's similar, but it's not the same. He stops him. And like drops what him. are you thinking when you program this? Great save. Great pass. Oh, come on. It's been there. It's a two on one. He shoots. What a pass. I also noticed the computer never pulls their goalie. I wonder if they do that, at, like if harder difficulties will do it. Northbound on a southbound freeway. Look out. One minute left in the third period. One minute, eh? One minute, eh? Oh, come on. Get out of the way, guys. Did, did that woman just yell, take his head off? He strips him of the puck. He steals it. Snags it. 
And time has run he out steals on this one. Woohoo, yay! Every time. The puck is dropped. He stops him and drops him. Oh, come on, Adam. Gotta be oh, close. he's got a clear path to the net. Damn. Great save! Oh. Welcome to the Roadkill Cafe. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> hey, that puck's out of play. Really? Okay. I thought it went in. Game on, everyone. He hit the post. No. A beautiful pass. Oh, come on. How do you not get that? He shoots. the puck up ice. He wipes him out. Kick save. This game's intense. Hey guys, you want to post up in front of the net? No one? Stick save. He strips him of the puck. He stoned him. <laughs> like chilling there. Come on. You know you want to. They bulges the twine. Yeah. Also, Game what did on, he everyone. just say? Him in a crumpled heap. No. Oh, did he get smoked? Yeah, like it can go off their skates and stuff. Drop the puck. Come on. Oh, that's not good. No. Beautiful pass. He stops him and drops him. And drops him. Wow. 
God, don't these guys know there's no offsides? I'm trying to set them up. He shoots. Ooh, he got his bones Ouch. rattled. He stole All right, that was that was a good play, guys. That was a good play. Would not have been upset if that had gone. Oh. He's in all alone. Blocker save. Great save. <laughs> oh, he was right there. Yeah, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, the guy got it. Washington goal scored by number 32. The puck is dropped. I think we can chill for a couple minutes. How's everybody doing? He takes the puck away. Anybody looking forward to the next game? Deadly Arts. Anyone played it? I have not. I've not played it or seen it. All I know about it is that it's a fighting game. Wrist it. Rebound. One minute left in the first period. Oh, come on. Oh man, I'm trying to hold in the sneeze. I like half held it in. It's a bad thing about wearing a headset. You can't escape it. Unless you're like really quick. If only I could hotkey a mute button onto my controller. Some of the puck. Yeah, I gotta play through every sports game. That's like, you know, I, I say I'm gonna beat every game, so I'm gonna beat every game, even the sports games. Um, fortunately, the sports games usually have some kind of like playoff mode where you just play through a championship. So I've been doing that mostly. Um, I think a couple NFL games I played through a whole season. Um, uh, NBA Hang Time has something where uh, oh, he's got a you have to like beat every team since there's no season in that game. Um, but if you keep playing arcade mode, you'll play every team. He shoots. And then... Um, when you beat the last team, it's like you're the champion, blah, blah, blah. Fry guy, what's up? Um, yeah, I should be still going in a couple hours. Um, probably aim to stop around like 5.30-ish. So in like two hours and 15 minutes. Or three hours, 15 minutes. Kind of just started. So. Great save. Uh, definitely Great gonna stop pass. by like six today. I told Livy I would do stuff with her when she got home. Huge one timer. Uh, I did play through Blitz. Um, that was super save. fun. So actually, so I beat Blitz, and then I realized 
that I was pretty close to the speedrun record for a full season. So I played it a couple more times until I got it. But then someone just beat it like a week later. So it's kind of a bummer. <laughs> Beautiful pass. Northbound on a southbound freeway. Look out. Blitz is so good. And yeah, uh, hang time is like NBA Jam. It's the same. It's gonna hurt. Freight train to Oh, come on, what was that pass? Skate save. Bliss is so good, dude. You have a Blitz arcade machine? That's badass, dude. And hang time. He shoots. Oh, uh, if you love the Midway games, what do you think of uh, Wayne Gretzky 3D Hockey? That's a pretty good one. Dude, guys, come on. No. He crushes him. Don't oh, get it. It's pretty cool that you have our arcade machines. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Whoa. Stick save. A blitz cabinet would be pretty he cool. It. It's like fighting game cabinets are awesome, but I don't I never played on uh, with an arcade stick, so like I'm garbage if I'm not using a D-pad. But something like Blitz, I think anyone could just pick up and play. It's also a lot more casual friendly than a uh, than a fighting game. You have ten machines. Hockey game. game on, it's two on two. Wayne Gretzky's another game. Great pass. That's cool. They have a two on two hockey game. Northbound Basically on NBA Jam for the top. Look out. He's in all alone. Well. Times it. So close. That's crazy. You have ten machines. It's a lot of machines, dude. That's pretty cool. Open ice. One I didn't. I never heard of it. The second period. He crushes him. Flattens him. Oh no. He headmans the puck. It's getting crazy in the second period. Oh, nice steal. He shoots. Fans, don't forget to enter the Ice Sweeper for a Day contest. Yeah. Oh, thanks for the follow. At the end of the game. Uh, sector. Uh, so I'm assuming Red Sector he takes the that you away. also play Mortal Kombat. And if so, nice try. which is your favorite no one? And why is it 3 slash Trilogy? They drop the puck. Great save! He stops him and drops him. Okay. Yeah, ultimate three. 
The Mortal Kombat 1. That's uh that's something. That's a hard one to go back to. Mortal Kombat 2 still holds up really well, I think. And then 3 is just the best. Since I have 64, I always played Trilogy growing up. So, I'm a big fan. Like, we played a, a decent amount of 2 on Super Nintendo. But Trilogy... Oh, man. I played the most Trilogy and Deadly Alliance. Those are probably the two I played the most. Washington goal scored by number 55. A few world records in it. MK1 Arcade. Look at you go. I, like when you just when you hold up one next to two and three, it's it's hard to go back to one. I think for most people, you're obviously like really passionate about it, so I get it. I mean, it's not as bad as like Street Fighter to Street Fighter Two. But. Yeah, I mean, Trilogy's great. I'm not sh totally sure of the differences between Trilogy and Ultimate 3. But Ultimate 3 is generally considered the best. I just don't know what the differences are between it and Trilogy. They're very, very close to the same game, I think. Red Sector might know more. <laughs> he takes the puck away. Yeah, if you play, of course, I mean, that's how it is with anything. Like, if you play them all enough, it's easy to jump back and forth, or easier, certainly. Um, like, there is, I've said this, told the story a bunch, but, like, when Dragon Ball Fighters first came out, I played that game a ton for, like, the first three or four months. And I didn't, I didn't touch Smash Brothers. And then when I went to play Smash, I, uh, I kept trying to like double tap to dash, and I was like trying to super dash and stuff. It was pretty funny. But people like if you play them enough, like multiple games, it's a lot easier to flip around. I mean, you look at people that play like. Multiple versions of Smash or multiple fighting games. You get guys like Wizrobe and Sonic Fox that play multiple games it. at a high level. At the highest level. Really? Their cheers, let's go hurricanes? Oh, you can't do a baby. let's go cheer with a three syllable oh. word after. It's one or two. So it's let's go canes. Oh, These fans don't even know what they're doing. Yeah, I mean, the new school Mortal Kombat, it's just a, it's a totally different engine. So you just have to, you know, learn it. But you can't just pick up and play any of the Mortal Kombat's from like nine, eight or nine on if you have like no experience with that engine. I feel like it'll just be bad. <laughs> they drop the puck. It's like trying to play Street Fighter 2 or third strike and then and then going to Street Fighter 4. Like it's a completely different game. Stick save. Even more so than switching between versions of Smash Brothers. I think Street Fighter 2 and third strike to Street Fighter 4 it's like it's a different game. You can't just pick it up. Man, he when did I score seven goals? 
That's brutal. What are these guys doing? Gotta love when the default difficulty is rookie. I wonder if there's any game where the default difficulty is hard. I've played a couple games on harder difficulties, but that's because I'm good at the game. He wipes him out. The original Smash on 64? Hell yeah, Red Sector. I mean, you know that's my game, so. <laughs> um, I, you, so you, you seem like someone that would be uh, decently savvy with emulators and flash carts. Um, in which case, I highly recommend you Google Great Smash pass. Remix. Um, it's a, a ROM hack for Smash Bros. that adds characters and stages and a ton of features and stuff. So, if you like the original Smash, I cannot recommend Smash Remix more. Pass. One minute left in the third There's probably going to be another big patch in the next month, so that'll be cool. Get out of the way, man. You got 30 seconds to kill. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, for anyone that likes a bunch of random stats and stuff, if you type exclamation progress in chat right now, my uh, Google Doc will show up with my progress. But I also added a bunch of things like, like uh, challenge stats and top 10 lists and that kind of stuff. So more things for you to look at. Okay, so um, on emulator, um, as long as you have a Smash Brothers ROM, it if you again if you just Google Smash Remix, the GitHub will probably pop up. Um, but you they have it set up so you just drag your your original ROM and it'll output the it'll patch it for you it'll output the new version and everything so it's like really really easy to use oh yeah uh key racing if you have an everdrive it's super super easy i mean if if, if you want to like become you know slightly more familiar with patching you could just get download like delta light or whatever and just patch stuff yourself it's very easy to do but the smash remix package has a patcher in there for you one of these times i will remember i leave fighting on but it never happens Oh, okay, there you go. But yeah, uh, Google Google Smash Remix GitHub. It is, it's awesome. It's so great. Like, it's not a new game. All of the old features and, like, characters and stages, all the original stuff is completely untouched. They've just added things. He's in all alone. So it's true to the original. It's basically just DLC. That's what it is. It's not even like it's a patch. It's a, it's DLC. Correct. You use Lunar. Makes me think of Lunar Magic for Mario. Yeah, the patcher I use is the X Delta Light or something, like Delta Patcher. I forget. That's because I only ever patch N64 stuff. I did just download Beat so I could patch some other stuff. I think it's good for Super Nintendo. I'm not sure. But yeah. Because uh, if I'm going to play some Japanese games, I'd like to find translated versions. So patching, Game patching some of the Japanese one. games is pretty clutch. Just levels him. Like I just, I just found out about this Bomberman game, it's this Japanese Bomberman game that came Great out in 2001. He snaps it. That has like a 
all these different mini games and things in it. The puck. Seems pretty freaking cool. I don't think there's a story mode to it. I think it's only like multiplayer games. He crushes him. Oh, come on. Oh, I got wrecked. What are you doing? Beautiful pass. He one time. Oh, it. what was that? Come on. The hell is that shot? What? It was that pass. It was the worst pass of all time. Oli, what are you doing, man? What a bone crushing hit! Oh, oh no, I it. Skate save! Uh, I first started this whole challenge this in April in of 2018. Yeah, um, but I've had two different periods where I um, like three to four month periods where I didn't play anything. Um, he takes they the were the same away. time both years, and it was the combination of like I had a few events I had to work, and I moved. Home. So it was like the same time two years in a row where I just didn't play from like August to December. Kind of sucked. Um, they dropped the puck. But yeah, and if you look at that Google Doc, you can see like when I beat he games, I, I tried putting dates. Um, so you can see like these big gaps. It. Yeah, man. A couple in a few months, we'll be on the uh, creep up on the two-year mark. Great save. Which originally, I thought I could do the whole thing in two years. And I oh, think if I stream four times a week. I I would have missed this two years. What a freaking shot. That was a hell of a shot. The puck is dropped. Enormous save. Robbed. Don't hold it. Just pass it. Oh my god, what the hell was that pass? There was someone wide open going to the net. So I can use the uh, the L button. Oh no! All right. So I think the L button might be good. Beautiful pass. No. No. That's what I mean about the passes. Like you can hit someone in the back and they won't get the pass. One minute left in the first period. He wipes him out. Fight train two. He snaps it. Another wraparound. This game does not feel good playing with the D-pad. Puck. 
Great pass. So wait, uh, Sector, do you play Sector in uh, he steals the puck. MK3? He's in all alone. Oh, He's pretty nice damn good. He stops him and drops him. He shoots. I'm a smoke guy myself. He strips him of the puck. How how does that end? did the same thing. I just hit L. Oh, nice try. No. -uh. Great save. He moves the puck up ice. Nice save. Cyrex or Cabal. Dude, Cabal's so freaking good. Oh, it's, it's not puck. about MK. All right, never mind. You just happen to own cabinets and have the handle sector, who is also red and spelled that way. He wipes him out. There's a lot of coincidences here, man. I don't know if this checks out. <laughs> he hit the post. Cyrex is really good, too. The puck is dropped. He runs him over. He shoots. Gamer House, what's up, dude? Oh, you were you were uh, streaming Earthworm Jim again. Is that game good? It didn't look too bad when you were playing it. Oh, he's got a clear pass to the net. Hard to tell though. It's unforgiving. Wristed. That's tough. That's always tough. Are there um, multiple difficulties for Earthworm Jim, or is it just like, you know, just play? Some parts are easy. Oh, okay, so you, the military term red sector. You just spelled it with a K. Oh, nice try. That's funny. No, uh. Break away. Go. Go. Yeah, I didn't think there would be multiple difficulties. I kind of figured it would be like, you know, like a Banjo Kazooie or a Mario 64, where it's just like, get good. Yeah, pretty far. Nice. It's similar to Banjo. So wait, are there like this guy's a human checkpoint? Warrior. Like, how does it work? Like, it's similar to Banjo, so there's like things you have to collect. Because Banjo and Mario had the notes and the he coins, which you just collect. You know, throughout the level, but then there are the, the main things like the stars and the, the jiggies that you also collect because by like completing challenges. Game on, everyone! And then there are the Jinjos, which are like the red coins. It really is like the same freaking game. <laughs> collect marbles to complete a level. Oh, uh, okay. So instead of having like different challenges throughout the level, it's like just collect all the marbles and you complete the level. 
udders are from puzzles and they unlock others. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool. Puzzles and tasks. All right, well, it seems like the game has a decent amount going on, so that's, that's cool. I don't know when I play it. I don't know how far down the list it is. One minute left. If anyone wants to look period. there, more than welcome to. Just levels him. Yes, I'm from Maryland. That's you know the flag and everything. He strips him of the puck. He uh, I started streaming like local Smash tournaments, so that's why it has all the Smash stuff. Oh, huge save. And I liked it, so I just left it there. It's a great flag. On a Even if the flag is, like, half racist, because it has the cross on it, which was not Calvert, the other, the other family in Maryland that was, like, they were supporting they the South the as opposed to Calvert, which is the Checkers, which is like the Baltimore flag. Times it. They were for the, they supported the North. So the whole idea is that like, with the flag is that, you know, the two sides came together. Or I, don't know. I don't know. Oh, you grew up in Westminster? Nice. I uh, grew up in Rockville and then I uh, went to school in College Park and, and I moved to Baltimore. Uh, lived in Baltimore for a while, bought a house, all that. But then I moved to New York last year. Uh, I was only there for a year, though. I moved back to Maryland, uh, but now I'm in Frederick while I rent out my house in Baltimore. Probably going to move back to Baltimore. Here they come, Stolen. Skate save. All right, probably stop scoring. Game takes a lot longer when you're scoring. You work in Frederick? I live in Frederick. I live downtown. <laughs> Small world. I go to the uh, the downtown YMCA on 9th Street. I'm gonna go play frisbee there tomorrow. That's so funny. Oh, dude, downtown. I mean, forget the bars. Go to the breweries. Like, I, man, I love um, Old Mother Brewery. They just have such good stuff. And there, you know, there's some other breweries that are really good too. That's just like my go-to because it's the closest one to me, and I like it the most. It's also distilleries. Like, if you're really into gin, there's McClintock's, but they also do. Like a vodka and a clear whiskey, which is really interesting. I like it. And then there's um, 10th Ward, which does whiskey and absinthe. One of the only uh, absinthe distilleries in the country. You know, if you like that licorice flavor, if you don't like licorice, like black licorice flavor, you, you would hate absinthe. Oh, you live in PA? Champions? Yeah, I don't even know that. I moved here, you know, a few months ago. Um, I don't really, like, go out to bars very much. But I do like good beers. So occasionally I'll go to uh, Old Mother. And then uh, when I first moved here, a few people came down and we uh, did, like, a whole 
brewery tour. I want to say we went to like 10 different places. That, that, was, a, that was quite a night. Good smash crew in PA, that's true. Depending on where in Pennsylvania you are, you might be near some people that play a lot of Smash 64. He strips him of the puck. I don't, even, I don't really know where everyone is anymore. Oh yeah, that like canal or whatever, yeah. Man, this game just got out of hand. I love how hockey games basically just turn into a just chatting stream while I skate around in circles. Yeah, I mean, most of the people that play Smash are in the Philly area. Um, I don't know if there's still people that play around like York. And drops him. Yeah, Philly Hatboro. Oh, Lancaster? Oddly enough, no one in Pittsburgh, I don't think. Right, Josh? There's like, is there, there's no scene in Pittsburgh, right? I did not know Lancaster had a solid chunk of people. That's so weird. Philly guys play everything, yeah. Philly's a big scene for fighting games. I mean, does have the best Street Fighter player in the world. Oh, cool. Yeah, like Big E Gaming, like they host all those tournaments. Also, yeah, I'm, Big E, Big E kind of annoys me. Because I hit them up about running streams at their tournaments because some of their streams are not good. And they just, they're like, oh, we, we're, we're good, we have streamers. And then I watch one of their events, and like, one or two of their streamers are not good. I'm like, just get me. EA Sports welcomes you to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Hi, everybody, I'm Bill Clement. It's always like the person streaming, like, Super Turbo or something like that, and it's like this crappy stream. They should also get someone to like make nice overlays for their tournaments. He steals the They're just not nice. That's icing. Fans are reminded that the floor is not a garbage receptacle. Please use the garbage cans provided. <laughs> okay. He wipes him out. Scores. 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 Is the game audio too loud? I like just looked over it. OBS. It looks a uh, looks a little high. The puck is dropped. Oh, I thought I had the punch. It's fine? Okay. Cool. Break away. Wrist it. I usually have it pretty low. So, like, it's it's weird because sometimes I'll turn it 
to what I think is like a pretty decent level. Enormous and then save. someone will say it's it's too high, so then I'll I'll just lower it a little bit. Save. It's always hard to judge in my headset because I'm the one talking. So finding that, that balance is harder as opposed to like when I'm running a stream at a tournament and I can just listen to the commentators in the game and balance it. It it's, doesn't really work when you're the one talking. Yeah, Gamer House, your volume definitely uh, low. Like overall and your voice on your stream. I think most people stream at two, their volume, overall volume is too low. I would much rather your volume be high than low. Because when it's nice when it's crack. low, no I have to crank it. Then if I like want to watch anything else, Breakaway. I have to adjust nice like the rest of my yeah. system. But if it's high, I can just turn down Twitch. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. He hit the post. Great pass. Is that a giant? No, it's not. Those are those are N sixty four consoles. Actually, one of my one of my light strings went out. <laughs> I have to like get new lights. My stream's low volume. See, like, cause there, just there, when I'm talking right now, it is it it is maxing out. Um, the the volume on OBS. And that's like generally where I think I want it. Denied. Like, yeah, like when I talk, it's, it's always in the red or, or above. Or like, you know, maxing out. Game audio is always just hovering around the yellow, which is like minus 20. I, I should probably just up the whole thing. He stops him and drops him. Actually, I should do. I should just listen for my streams and adjust accordingly. I'll probably do that. Ah, oh, come on, man. These are actually these graphics in this game are not that bad. Get it out. Oh, he's got a clear pass to the net. He shoots. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. You might you might have to full screen, look at those things. I wanna say they definitely look like consoles. Oh, they're about to work. Nope. Go, go, go. Oh. Step save. He takes the puck away. Great pass. Oh, yeah, Josh, what did you think of the uh, music choice it. for that video? I was, like, trying to think of music from a game that would fit that well, and Star Fox just seemed like it would work. Yo! Red Sector. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Really appreciate it. And yeah, Josh, it, it, like Star Fox in general just seemed like it fit really well, and that song just synced up decently. He strips him of the puck. That's the thing, like, I have to find a song that fits he the, uh, the time as well, since I can't really adjust that a ton. 
One minute left. Heading out. All right, man. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll catch you next stream. Um, Tuesdays, Thursdays, I do these early streams, and then Mondays and Fridays I do stream at night. I start at like 8 p.m. Eastern. You can't control the PS4 volume. Oh, you're streaming right from your PS4. Yeah, that I understand. But when you were streaming like Earthworm Jim, you can control all that. Peace out, dude. Uh, yeah, the, so the consoles are face down so that I can, they can like line up. Okay. The puck is dropped. Yeah, the PlayStation, I don't really know. Um, I think maybe you can like change the audio output in the PlayStation settings. Audio output. But I don't know. Cuz um I've never streamed directly from the PlayStation or an Xbox, like directly from the console, I always capture it externally. So like, if I've streamed a PlayStation 4, I use a capture card and I get the audio out of the console into a mixer and all that stuff. So I'm not as familiar. The ones, oh, okay. So the ones on the bottom are they're set up the same way. Um, the lighting is just different because my lights died. But so the consoles are face down, and the 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 power packs are removed, and I put controllers on top of those. Nice try. So that's uh, that's the setup. Can they do it? Nope. Move it. Move it. Move it. Like I, I thought about getting a, getting like a, a new mic, like a non-headset mic. You know, like the mic stand and, and all that stuff, but I don't know. I just I don't think I like how I would have to have it set up here. I guess I'd clip it there. I don't know. I like the headset because I can just move around and the audio is always consistent. Um, but it would also be nice to be able to like move around without worrying about the the headset and the cables and that kind of stuff. Also, I just don't want to. I don't want to spend more money. You know? Good mic's not cheap. I'm not gonna get like a USB mic or something. Even those are kind of pricey with the good USB mics. Yeah, I have to get the mic and the stand. All right. Oh, that's a bummer. Especially the echo thing. That's that's whack. Um, you can do like a quick YouTube search for like best USB microphones if if you're not using a mixer. Um, who's that guy? It's like Alpha or something. There's some channel that like has just like a lot of resources and stuff for streamers, and he like went through and like, wow, that went right through his legs. Uh, but he like tests. I mean, this is like this guy has really high quality equipment. I mean, his his whole setup is probably like thirty grand. Um, but so he like knows what he's talking about, and he goes through a bunch of different USB mics and says what he likes and doesn't like about them, and that kind of stuff. He crushes him. Beautiful pass. I mean, if you're not. If you uh, are streaming from your console or your PC to where you don't have to like 
use a capture card, your your audio, your mic's gonna be your most important thing. Uh, Cause they're just there are few things that will get me to turn off a stream more than bad audio. Bad audio is just rough. Because then I just want to turn the audio off, and then I'm just watching a game being played with no audio, and that's not interesting. Denied. Break away. Um, I'm sorry, did you just say garbage wrestling games? There's like a couple garbage wrestling games. And they're not even garbage. They're just not nearly as good. Like the WWF Warzone and Attitude. I don't know if the games are garbage, but they're just not they're not nearly as good as the uh the other like you know, Revenge and WrestleMania 2000 and No Mercy. Like those are Revenge is is definitely dated. And the, the games that came after it were just objectively better. Um, but, like, I mean, a lot of people think No Mercy is, like, the best wrestling game of all time. There are a couple that I haven't played, though. Uh, WCW Nitro and some other WCW game I've never played before. And then there's a Japanese wrestling game that's supposed to be good. Um, I've never played this. One minute left in the second period. Um, yeah, the WF games, they, they're clunky, for sure. And like, WCW NWO World Tour was like the, you know, the first one, and that, that one doesn't feel great. Um, I do agree with you that there are a lot of bad sports games. Um, most, especially... Um, football and basketball. Like, there's NFL Blitz, but the other football games are bad. Um, there's a few bad soccer games, too, for sure. Oh, come on. Um, FIFA. The first FIFA was bad on 64. That was not a good game. Um, I haven't played a second one. Yeah. Again, if you if you like look at my my doc, you can see like which which games I liked and which games I didn't. The first FIFA game was really bad. Um, I've I found like one soccer game that I liked and like one or two that were tolerable. Um, same with baseball. You know, like. People were always, they talk up the uh, Ken Griffey game, and the first one I played was not that good. Um, All-Star Baseball 99, though, that was legit. That was a good game. I would play that game. But yeah, Griffey. It was just the first Griffey game. That I've, I've only played one so far. And it, disappointed. For how much people like the or talk about the Ken Griffey games. I mean, we played like a ton of Super Batter Up on Super Nintendo, and like it's not like a great game, but it's pretty fun and simple. That was a bad bounce. Ah, come on. Great save! The guy that runs a retro he game store here straight up stop taking it. Yeah, he should. The big one um, so when I was making all of these uh, custom cartridges this guy's a human wall for Smash Tournament rentals. Um, I 
got a bunch of old crappy sports games you know, for like 50 cents or something like that uh, so I could use the, um, the cartridge shells. It's actually really annoying to like get the labels off though. Oh, what a rebound. Man, that was a great play. Good job. Good job, guy. Yeah, I, I totally agree. Like, I love the N64. It's probably my second favorite console. It's, yeah, it's either one or two. It's probably two. Um, but... Wow, that hurt. argument, that's like a lot of people's argument for why it's not a good system. It's like, oh, it has a ton of bad sports games. It's like, okay. Why, why is the console, like, what does it matter if the console has a bunch of bad games? What about the good games? The good games are what make a console worth it. Just don't get the bad games. He runs him over. Like, I like that and that Nintendo kept cartridges. Because, like, that's what I was used to and everything. And, you know, no load times, that kind of stuff. But it sucks because um, if Nintendo had switched to, to CDs for the 64, um, probably would have kept uh, Square Enix. So Final Fantasy VII would have been on the N64. I mean, who knows what else would have changed, but... He stops him and drops him. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. He moves the puck up ice. I'm not your guy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, that episode came out when I was in college. We quoted it. Way too much. Along with most of those Save. couple seasons of South Park. And those are like 2005 like to 2008. There's some the really good seasons of South Park. Snags it. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, the 64 just didn't have, just couldn't handle the games they wanted to make. Skate save. Oh, did he get smoked? You just got to wonder, like, how different everything would have been if Nintendo had used CDs for the 64. He shoots. And then the GameCube was, like, whack. They had those, like, little baby CDs. I have nine goals. What am I doing? <laughs> Yo, Ethan. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the follow, man. Break away. Appreciate it. Oh, come on, get there. One minute left in the third period. I think I won this He's game. I should do a 24-hour stream of Donald Duck going quackers. I've never played or seen that game, so I know nothing about it. Um, also, at some point, I totally want to do a 24-hour stream. Um, I would want to line it up with a good block of games, though, and not... So there... All right, there is one day. So I'm beating all the games in chronological order, right? Release date. There was one day where Nintendo released four basketball games. And time has run out on this one. Four basketball games in one day, which means I have to play four basketball games in a row. That would be a brutal 24-hour stream block. Oh my god. Can I just sim these? I can. I feel bad though. I want to like sim until it's like the the last game and then play the last game. Boom shakalaka, it's dang like time. 
GameCube died too easily. I never, I don't think I ever had a problem with the, uh, the the GameCube. Oh, trip! Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. They dropped the puck. Buffalo. Yo, where's Cactus? He needs to come support his savers. Maktar, thanks for the follow. No. Thanks for uh, thanks for tuning in, everybody. It's funny that we're having such a big stream while playing uh, a hockey game, but yeah, who? Whatever. At least it's not bad. It's not a bad hockey game. It's just, oh, I forgot. Whoops, not options, rules. Yeah, everybody that followed and sub, thank you very much. Appreciate it a lot. Hopefully we can get through this game. Oh, excellent pass. And play the next game. He steals the puck. The so next game's a fighting game, so it might be it might be not bad. Washington goal scored by You came to troll for sports games, but you stayed for the dildos. I mean, if anything's gonna get you to stay, it's gonna be dildos. Oh, you came from Reddit? Nice. Yeah, that was um pretty cool. A friend of mine saw that post about the guy that completed his um, collection and someone in the comments was like time to live stream you beating them all and my friend saw it and he was like well actually there is someone doing that and uh, he showed me the thread so I felt like I had to jump on that I, don't, I normally don't use reddit really for anything so yeah if you're here from the reddit thread that's awesome. Thank you so much. Oh yeah, no no problem, Gamer House. I uh, I really don't mind helping out people that are getting started. Um, uh, there's a few a few people I like. I ended up in their streams because they were streaming retro stuff, and um, yeah, I just I like you know. I like it when things look good, so I don't, I don't mind helping. Um, done that for a bunch of people, uh, especially in the Smash community. Oh man! See, the problem with the Smash community is these people that are streaming. They're like locals and that kind of stuff. They don't. They're not trying to be streamers, so they don't. It's not. So not taking it seriously isn't the phrase I want to use. They don't they don't care as much about like improving and the quality of the stream and that kind of stuff. So they don't they don't like put as much research and like effort into making it better, but they'll still hit me up with questions. He takes the puck away. Um but there so many of them are questions they they could just like Google or look up on YouTube, and I think if they were streamers, like trying to be streamers, that's what they would have done already, and they'd be coming to me with Game more specific on, questions that they like couldn't find answers to. I don't know. Not to like, I'm not trying to like knock on Smashers too much, but that's like a big difference I see between streamers I find on Twitch and people that are just streaming. Their random Smash Brothers Denied. tournament. Great pass. You can smell the phrase "smash me." Oh, he wipes him out. The whole Smash community smells thing. I mean, that's really just a gaming thing. Let's be let's be real. Skate save. And I want to say, the older the community. 
the less that's an issue. So like with us, or you know, playing N64, like in general the crowd is a lot older than people playing Ultimate. Um so you get people that are they they they, they know how to be like real people a little bit better. Something started the well, yeah, of course. Stick save. It's probably a bunch of people at a tournament. Someone walked by a group and they smelled. He's in all alone. It's gonna Take happen with save. anything. Like in, you know, the nerd community. Like go to a freaking Magic the Gathering tournament. I'm sure there are a bunch of people that stink. Go to a Street Fighter tournament, there's probably a bunch of people that stink. Go to a Fortnite like it doesn't matter, you know? He shoots! Some of the community is toxic. Yeah, yeah. Same with every community. For sure. Like, and it's hard to tell if the Smash community just has more drama or I'm just exposed to it more because I'm more connected to that community. You know? I don't see as much drama in other fighting game communities, but I'm not as connected to them. All right, I gotta like stop playing. It's seven nothing in the first. <clears throat> I just like accidentally went up seven nothing on these guys. The smash drama this week, though, the past week has been pretty funny. One to minute me. left in the first period. Bunch of people complaining about Oakland. Like, Shut up. Fortnite expects chaperones because they're yeah, they're young they're a lot younger. Yeah, I mean if you go to a Smash tournament that has ultimate, um, you definitely see a lot of younger people and a bunch of parents and that kind of stuff. Like, Ultimate has helped Smash tournaments out so much because of how popular it is. So, like, more people are signing up. But also, like, tournaments are getting way more people buying spectator passes now. And I think part of that is because the average player is a lot younger, so there's more parents coming. More parents and family and that kind of stuff. So, like, in a way... Having a younger crowd is so much better for a, for an organizer because you can <laughs> make money off the parents. It's pretty sweet. Low tier god, yeah. I like don't even. I know that that is a person and they exist, but I don't know anything about them. And like, I follow Smash. I just only follow, for the most part, Smash tournaments. And he is not a top player, so I don't really care. Because it seems like there's just a lot of drama. He steals the puck. He steals it. So 64 community is so disconnected from the rest of Smash, it's hard to call it part of the Smash community. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty true. I mean, the other, like, so the only reason the Melee community and the Ultimate community are connected is because Melee people generally run the events because they always have been. If it weren't for that, I would say those communities are completely disconnected as well. And you have like a few melee top players that have like crossed over into ultimate. Dangerously mentally ill, like seriously? That's not good. 
They're only connected because they can make money off each other. Yeah, I mean, it's a good reason to be connected. I am a big fan of money. We all know how I'm, I'm lining my pockets with all that smash money. All right, let's, let's take a shot. This guy's a human wall in there. Uh, yeah, I was just skating one big circle. So the thing is, like, I want to beat this game fast. So one thing that takes up a lot of time is when play stops. So scoring a goal. So I'm up 8 nothing. Like, there's no point in playing anymore. So I'm just skating in circles, using up the clock, talking to you guys. Yeah, AI doesn't know what to do because they're on easy. Um, all the games I beat, I play on either the default difficulty or something harder. Um, and the default in this game was Rookie. So I left it there because it's a sports game and I'm not playing those on harder difficulties because it could be disastrous. He's in all alone. Guy's always right there in the way. Can I do figure eight? Oh. He's doing it. He ah. Oh. A special stream plan for Who's Superman 64. I probably should like pump up that stream extra because people that come in the chat. Uh, that's like one of the that is that's the most common game they ask about is Superman 64 the most asked about game in my stream is Super me. Um, and I've, I haven't played it um, I've seen clips of it and I know it's like regarded as this awful game I don't think it's as bad as people make it out to be I think it was just a such a massive disappointment of a game that he it got puck away. extra reputation for being bad. I don't think it's going to be as bad as some of these sports games that I've played. It's not going to be as bad as Great Madden NFL football. It's not going to be as bad as NFL Quarterback Club 98. He shoots. One minute left in this I'm sure it'll be period. bad, though. Maybe I'll dress up. I don't own anything with Superman on it. So that would be tough. Oh, get wrecked. A harsh dose of reality. Oh, come on. How bad could it be? Ah, daily quest on Hearthstone. Nice. Catch you later, dude. Have fun. Man, you stream a lot of different stuff. Ah, we were so close to 30 viewers. Never got there. We were at 29 for so long. Alright. If only we had a more exciting game. These poor sabers. Like nine, man, nine minute, ten minute periods is really long. Why do they do that? <laughs> I also like I could have changed the length of the series and the length of the periods and everything to make this go faster, but it just feels like cheating. Like, could have made it like two minute, two minute periods, and all the series were just best of one, and I would have been done a long time ago. Thanks, man. That was a good one.
Fortunately, after this series, only the Stanley Cup remains. Am I playing a full season? Absolutely not. Uh, most sports games, um, they have like a playoff mode where you just play through the postseason, so that's what I'm doing. Because in the end, you still win the championship. Also, sports games, like, they have the option to simulate a game. And, like, I could do that. And I might. I still might. I might sim some games. Because this is just silly. Score my own guy. Oh, it won't let me. I can't. How did these guys make it to the conference finals? They suck. The Rangers were much better. What? First, first world. Okay, it's hard to read. Like dark red text on the uh, black background. How's it going, man? A lot of players barely show up until the postseason. And some players disappear during the postseason, so there's that. Game on, everyone. Game on, everyone. The big glove save. Oh no, are they going to score? No, let's get our first shutout. I'll stop it. Oh my God, another rebound goal. I like wasn't, I didn't even push anything. It just bounced right onto that guy's stick as he was skating into the goal. Kill Cafe. Ten nothing. Josh, you should uh, you should screenshot this and send it to Cactus. <laughs> the Sabers losing ten nothing. <laughs> it's a uh, quality quality content. It's a two on one. Oh, that was brutal. Also, yeah, the ref being like an actual model and having hitboxes is kind of annoying, but also kind of funny. I bet if you're playing this with like friends, there's just some jank stuff that would happen. You get really mad at the refs for being in the way. Like, oh, oh come on, man. Get out of there. He shoots. Oh no, I forgot about the shutout. Save the shutout. Break away. No, get out of there. Get out. One minute, come on. Game does feel so much longer when I'm not like One actually playing it. In the third period. Yeah, man, Buffalo is just really bad. Twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, this one's game just over.
Yeah, imagine celebrating that much for a 10 nothing win. Oh, whoops. Let's go. Haha. -ha. I remembered. EA Sports welcomes you to the Stanley Cup playoffs. Hi, everybody. I'm Bill Clement. Game on, everyone. Maybe, uh. Ooh, got his bones rattled. Maybe they'll be better this time. Northbound on a southbound freeway. Look out. Satan. Yeah. 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 Thanks for the follow, Wolf. Oh, almost got that. Get there. Snags it. He steals the puck. Is that a Polar Express poster? No. Um, it's a. There was this one Smash tournament where uh, he strips him of the puck. they gave the winners um, towels. Save. And that's Break what that is. They're towels. Risks it. This guy's a human wall in there. Oh, I thought he passed it to me. Crap. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. Great pass. That was a great pass. Go get it. Come on. Towels and deodorant? Nope, just towels for the winners. Skate save. Denied. Damn. He headmans the puck. Go, oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Come on. It was like seven nothing at this point last game. He shoots. Rebound. Flattens him. Risks it. This guy's a human wall in there. Guy's not on your team, Oli. Crap. Enormous save. He runs him over. What a goal. What a goal. Top shelf. Oh, baby. Oh man, that was just bad. They dropped the puck. Two quick ones. He snaps it. Tease in on. Oh, okay. Maybe I've been looking at this wrong. 
I think that little meteor that comes up, I want to keep it. I want to keep it in the green. Red is bad, not more power. Northbound on a southbound freeway. Look out. Nice try. Yeah. No wow, okay. I'm doing it wrong this whole time. And, you know, it didn't matter, but now I know. Oh, I thought I saw the puck. Damn it. Oh, what a save! He takes him out of the play hard. Get the blue N64. Um, which one, the Japanese one or the all blue one? The Japanese one's blue and white. It's kind of cool. Beautiful pass. He shoots. Uh, but uh, check your like Great local save. Craigslist uh, site because people are. I, that's where I found a lot of my stuff. One minute left in the first period. It's not like I lived in a big city this or something. What? How did that not go in? You never cared for the N64? Yeah, I mean, it depend I think depending on when you grew up, um, this just might not do it for you. But um, this is definitely not the game. That'll uh, change your mind. But I'm sure if I was playing like Blitz, uh, it would look a lot more interesting. Um, the games I played last week were great. Yeah, if you guys weren't watching last week, definitely missed out. Uh, Body Harvest, Buck Bumble, F Zero, and WCW NWO Revenge. Those are like, those are some good games. Oh yeah, uh, Twin. I definitely turned off penalties. This would take so long otherwise, with all the stoppages. Oh, you had one when it came out and you didn't like it then. That's sad. What didn't you like about it? He's in all alone. Oh, what a save. Now I'm curious. I can't imagine a kid getting this when it came out and not liking it. Blocker save. He shoots. Oh, come on, guys. Dude, I feel like a lot of these teams play better in the second the game. Denied. Yeah, I mean, sticking with carts was pretty objectively the wrong choice. Like, I like so many of the games, but I wonder what, they, the what they would be like if they had not stuck with cartridges. Welcome to the Roadkill Cafe. Beautiful One nice pass. thing about the carts, though, for right now, is how long they last. And the fact that I can have something like an EverDrive that lets me play all the games. What a bone That's pretty nice. Hit. Enormous save. Like PlayStation a lot better. Couple games, but not many. Yeah, I mean, for some people, like, there were a bunch of games for N64 that they really liked, whether it was Mario or Zelda or Goldeneye or Tony Hawk, um, Wave Raid, Mortal Kombat. There are, like, there are a lot of good titles. And PlayStation, I mean, PlayStation was awesome. With, like, Crash Bandicoot, like, I had a friend that had a PlayStation. We played Crash Bandicoot, Cool Borders. Um, he played Metal Gear Solid. I didn't really 
play it because, you know, one player game. You're at a friend's house. But yes, Tomb Raider. PlayStation Tomb Raider. Save. Twisted Metal, yeah. that man it. Mario Wave Race oh yeah Star Fox man I could have forget at least you liked Wave Race I can I can respect some of your opinions now he wipes him out. He crushes it. oh no Wrist it Get it out of there. Oh, yeah, I mean, PlayStation 2 was legit for sure. Like, we had a GameCube because we were Nintendo people. But looking back, like, there just wasn't that much on the console I was excited about. Like, we played the crap out of Melee. We played a lot of Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Decent amount of Time Splitters 2. But like, what else? Played Metroid Prime because it had to, because it was finally a new Metroid game. Never got that into it though. Sunshine. See, I never played Sunshine. We didn't have that when I was there. I don't think. Or he got it like. I don't know when we got Sunshine, but I don't think I was living at home anymore. So I never really played it. Same with Luigi's Mansion or Thousand Year Door. Never played them. Um, yeah, I mean, I played a lot of the Mortal Kombat games on GameCube, but that could have been on any console. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. He takes him out of the play probably, I, when we uh, got the Xbox, I probably played more of those. With, like... Fable and Halo Save. and Jade Empire and those games. The second period. Great pass. What we, oh, we played um Tony Hawk with Underground. He played a lot of that. Yeah, we never we never played Zelda games. So that was like a whole a whole area we missed out on. Then having for Super Nintendo or N64 or GameCube. Yeah, we played a lot of Tony Hawk. Three and under, Underground. Yeah. Fable 1 is so good. But, like, obviously you have to play Lost Chapters. Just because it's, it's more game. It's, it's objectively better. It's a two on one. He snaps it. You got into Zelda in high school? Yeah. I... Uh, the only Zelda I've played is about two hours of Ocarina of Time. Only Zelda I've ever played. He strips Someday. Him That'd be a funny 24 hour stream. My first playthrough of every Zelda game. I mean, I wouldn't be able to beat them all. I wonder how many I'd be able to get through, though. He shoots. Yeah, Lost Chapters was just so good. Because it's like, oh, there's like a real ending now to this great game. Great pass. Like a, a decent amount more content, too. It's like a whole other zone. I don't remember a thing from Fable 2. Like, I don't know if I really played it. I must have at least tried it. But I have no memory of it. Enormous save. There were Time Splitters 2, though. Hell yeah, Riley. I mean, the game's great. I definitely played it, I played it a decent amount. 
But then, like, Halo came out, and, like, that's all anyone played as far as shooters go. You're the only one on your block with the GameCube. <laughs> so, like, Metroid Prime. All right, so we had Super Metroid growing up, right, for Super Nintendo. It took us, like, literal years to beat it and figure it out and everything because we were children. Uh, we finally did, and, you know, that's just... It was just a, such a great game to us. Like, we loved that game. Like, everything about it was just so good. And so then we went an entire generation, a whole console generation with no Metroid. And then they announced Prime. It was like, okay, finally, right? Finally, Metroid 4. And then it, it just wasn't, it wasn't Super Metroid 2. So it was, it was disappointing. Still played it. But never, I never did a second playthrough of it. You still play Time Splitters too? Hell yeah! Yeah, the multiplayer is really good. And um, and uh, story. I mean, the story mode is uh, co-op. Like Time Splitters two is a good game. Yeah, I mean, it, Prime was a big seller for the GameCube. They made nice they need two and three. Like, beautiful pass. Wait, Josh, you had never beaten Prime? He shoots. That's crazy. Um, I've never beaten Prime two. Because uh, I got most of the way through it, and then the memory card corrupted, and I never, I never turned the game on he again. Steals the puck. <laughs> it's a two on one. Like that was it. That was the end of my Metroid Prime career. Uh, I also never played three. Great save. He strips him of the oh yeah, getting coming into Ooh, Prime, any rattled. Prime game like halfway like that, it's got to be tough. It's a lot harder than the other Metroid games to just, like, dive into it after being gone for who knows how long. It takes forever for going for everything. Yeah, like, if, it's, if you're doing, like, a scan everything run, like, what the hell, man? I'll take an eternity. He's in all alone. Never got into Zelda games? Yeah, me neither. Um, but, like, I'm sure they're really good. It's the very first Zelda doesn't look interesting to me, but that's, like, most NES games don't look very interesting to me. But the ones on Super Nintendo look legit. Like, Link to the Past. Well, like, they look good. And someday I'll play them. Only a few truly great NES games? I don't know. Is that just from your experience, Josh? Because I feel like there's a bunch that are probably, like, legit very good. Without without looking at it like these were, you know, like, very significant in the world of video games. Like, playing it right now, and you're like, yeah, this is a good game. It's got to be more than a few. He snaps it. Dude, F-Zero, we had F-Zero for Super Nintendo. So when Smash came out and Captain Falcon was a character and no one knew who he was, we did. Oh, bad save. Try again. Yeah, Mario, obviously Mario, all the Mario Bros. games. Mega Man. I mean, Enormous save. the other Mega Man, like Mega Man 3 and later, are they worse than 2? I feel like they're probably just as good as 2. Two just has the soundtrack that everybody knows. Contra, yeah, for sure. Smash TV. He strips him of the puck. 
And time has run out on this one. Yeah, Mario Bros. 3 was definitely like peak NES. Like that, looking back, it's really impressive that that game was on the NES. Wait, did I really only win three to two? <laughs> Was I just not paying attention? Donkey Kong Country had the best soundtrack. I think it's one of the best soundtracks of all time. Donkey Kong Country. Like, I just lump that, if you just lump that series in, because one and two had really good soundtracks. And it's hard for me to pick one that I like more than the other. I think Country 2 gets kind of carried by Sticker Burst Symphony. And overall, I think 1 is better. But 2 has some really good tracks. Um, but yeah, Donkey Kong Country, Mega Man X, and Super Metroid are probably my favorite soundtracks on the Super Nintendo. Also probably my favorite soundtracks in general. It's tough though. I just went there. through the entire um, Star Fox 64 soundtrack. Man, is it good. Nice Same with like try. Extreme G and F Zero and the Goemon game, like Mystical Ninja games are really good soundtracks. All of them, like SNES and 64. Wave Race is a really good soundtrack. Killer Instinct has a really good soundtrack. Am I going the wrong way? No. He headmans the puck. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. I never played Kirby Superstar or Corona Trigger. Uh, never had them growing up, and I never, I just never played them on an emulator. Nice try. No goal. Someday. I know Corona Trigger is like. You know, one of the best games of all time or whatever. One of the best sound. Also, people uh, rate it very highly for soundtrack. So I'll get around to it. Oh, wrong team. Um, we had a hockey game for Super Nintendo. Didn't play it much, but had one. I think it was it was late late in our Super Nintendo life. We just kind of like acquired that game. Oh come on, give me that. He shoots. Oh come on, get him. Oh, yeah, NHL Stanley Cup. Yeah. Oh, Slowbro, what's up, man? Uh, this game's not bad. Beautiful it's just, it's pass. like, it's on the easiest difficulty because that's what it defaults to. I say that and I'm, like, actually about to lose a game. Um, I've been, like, just crushing. I beat this team game one 10-0. Uh, It appears that they have uh, gotten better. That is not the direction I pushed. Come on, give me one. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. This guy's a human wall in there. He stoned him. Smoked. He stops him. No, oh, get it. Him. Stick save. Damn. Uh, I'm the caps, Riley. I beat the Sabres ten freaking nothing in game one. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Can I like get some of those goals and apply them to this game? 
Side. Get in there. He moves the puck up ice. He headmans the puck. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Oh, come on. The sound effects of the 2600. Game on, everyone. He wipes him out. This guy's a human wall in there. Oh, come on. Damn, I got a, I got a score. It's going to make me look bad. Came to play. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. Let's, uh, we'll change he up our offensive strategy. Maybe that'll help. He hit the post. No, no, that was like perfect. One minute left in the first period. Why would you pass the hand? He leaves him in a crumpled heap. Huge one timer. Oh, play. come on. I'm like setting up real plays one now and still hit. not going in. I think that's my biggest nice criticism of hockey no games. Is it just seems like so random when it goes in. Yeah. Velet, thank you for the follow. Maybe you can be my good luck charm here and I can start scoring Game some goals. On, everyone. Oh. Grab round? Dude, how many shots off the post can I get? He crushes him. Or Adam. He snaps it. Oh, he oh how did I not going. intercept that? Saw it coming my way. Oh, he's got a clear path. Alright, let's try it. Stick save. Oh no. He's in all Barnaby. Oh, huge save. Wow. I'm losing. Well, it, it, didn't, it didn't work. Buffalo goal scored by number 36. Hockey is the whitest sport on earth. Come on, man. Have you seen lacrosse? Denied. Dude, one of like playoff MVPs for the Caps when they won the cup. This is a black guy. Stinky, what's up, dude? What about water polo? Yeah, that's a. Uh, it's gotta be up there. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, um. He was talking about whitest sports. Robbed. What a pass, tape to tape. Oh, save. How the hell did you save that? Someone in front of that? No. Blocker save. Stick save. Duh, duh, what? He moves the puck up ice. Nice 
Nice try. No goal. Great pass. No, come on. He strips him of the puck. Flattens him. He one times it. Just can't get the puck to go in, man. The big one timer. I like can't catch up to anyone on D either. It's like if I'm behind them, that's it. So that's kind of annoying. Wrists it. He's in all alone. Oh, a nice try. Go in. Curling? Yeah, curling's up there. A lot of Asian people curl. Hmm. The puck is dropped. She's rolling. Oh, you got his pad on that one. He stops him and drops him. Flattens him. You like that? Like, come on. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. Let's go, guys. Come on. Yes. Beautiful play. Me. Good job, me. Washington goal. Scored by number The person to catch the cheese wheel achieves manhood. Come on, everyone. Why would you think that's something they do in Ireland? It sounds like something they do in Wisconsin. Oh, I tried doing it again. Even hurt me. Get it. Break away. What a shot. And just like that. Skeleton is not really done outside of Europe. Yeah. Skeleton, I mean, so winter sports are a little bit different. Because uh, for the most part, you need the climate for it. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of Europe and Canada. Like, I get why... You know, Thailand is really big in the world of name a winter sport. Blocker save! Nice try! No goal. Just levels him. What a pass, tape to tape. Straight train, choo hoo! Oh, crap. One minute left in the second period. He shoots. All right, we tied He's it up. All alone. Oh, welcome to the Road Kill Cafe. No, no. This guy's a human wall in there. Just get it out. Clear it. These gra these guys are better than a lot of the games I've played so far. They're not bad at all. They dropped the puck. There are I think there are different camera angles I could have chosen. Um, so I like could have picked one that was a little bit more close up, I think. But now I'm used to this, so I'll stick with it. Dude, why wouldn't anyone go to the net? Skate save. Who the hell were you passing to?
Oh, such a bad pass. The big one timer. He runs him over. Break away. Yes. Yes. The 3D Castlevania games? Yeah. They were bad? That's so unfortunate. I was actually looking forward to them because it's Castlevania. So I thought they'd be okay. The puck is dropped. And yeah, uh, Stinky, a lot of people have been pumped about Space Station Silicon Valley. I don't know anything about that game. Wrist it. They're done? Aw. That sucks. That's kind of looking forward to them. Enormous save. Nice try. No goal. That was a nice try. Oh, come on. It was ahead of its time. And yeah, that's a bummer about them. The Castlevania games being terrible. I was really hoping they'd be decent. Beautiful pass. Dude. What's the point of the freaking hook button if it's not going to hook? If I had been quicker, that could have been a goal for sure. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. Bad rebound. Decent. Uh, he strips him with a puck. ODT escape or die trying. Okay. Yo, Pat. Thanks for the follow. No. He shoots. No. Pat, it's all your fault. <laughs> No. Terrible MK? Wait, hold on. Oh, oh, you mean like Mortal Kombat 4? Okay, that's fair. Because Trilogy is one of the best ever made. Also, Sub-Zero Mythologies is not a Mortal Kombat game. Dude, Sub Zero, that game gets. I think that game gets a little too much hate. I don't think it's that bad. It's like a little janky in some areas, like the movement. But, I don't know. I, I like the game. I think it's fine. It's hard. Oh, nice try. No, uh. Fight train I think I think Mythologies is a better game than Mortal Kombat 4. I give I give 4 credit though cuz they were just they were trying to do new things. Like that was all new. Oh, what a save. So, definitely, you know, credit to Beautiful them. Pass. Northbound on a southbound freeway. No, get out of there. No. Snags it. All right, we're, we're stalling. It's not good at all. You're a hater. Dude, Mythologies is not that bad. I played it. I've played it a bunch. One of the worst things you've ever played. Sounds like you were just bad at it, Riley. <laughs> no, I mean, I can, I can see it how people could get really easily frustrated with it because there is uh, not a lot of room for error and if you're not familiar with how like Mortal Kombat works because I mean it, it, the controls and everything like well at least I set up the controls so they were just like trilogy so I was familiar I don't know I think it gets, a, it gets too much hate though 
He moves the puck up ice. He crushes him. In fact, I think Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero might be one of the most underrated games on the console because of how much hate it gets Great save. relative to my opinion of the game. Dude, get it! He blows get what the... the no! We're going to have to go into freaking overtime. They dropped the puck. I can't believe this. He shoots. Why why didn't I just stall? Why? How late am I playing? Uh, probably for another hour, hour and a half. Oh, that f <laughs> 420. The puck is dropped. What a bone crushing hit. It's like my guys just don't play D anymore. Oh man, that was. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. Beautiful pass. Easy. You know, what an overtime. Stanley Cup final. Here we go, baby. Oh, whoops. I pressed A. I didn't mean to. Did you have to press start? Can't press A. They're multiplying. <laughs> Snowboard kids. All right. So one thing that I have a really hard time tolerating with games, and this is my issue with snowboard kids, is when the CP like rubber band mechanics and CPUs that are borderline unfair. You gotta remember, I'm playing all of these games by myself. So any like anything that a game has with multiplayer, where it's like, you know, that's like one of the main draws of the game are irrelevant to me because I'm not playing multiplayer. So a game like Snowboard Kids really pissed me off because of the CPUs. Like the items were borderline game breaking and the CPUs were obnoxiously good in the you know, rubber bands and all that stuff. It's one of the reasons I hated NBA Hang Time. If I was just playing that game with friends, I bet I would like it a lot. But I wasn't. Um, I also felt like the steering in Snowboard Kids is really Offside. clunky. And so I didn't like that. Fans, as this is a fan. It's not like I think Snowboard Kids is like one of the worst games ever. I just didn't like it. And it, it pissed me off. The soundtrack's great. Very good soundtrack. Didn't crack my top 10, but it's good. Great goal. Hell yeah. It's a very underwhelming game. Yeah, like, I think if the items weren't as powerful in Snowboard Kids, um, Game on, and there wasn't as much CPU rubber banding, I would have legit, I would have liked the game. Still wasn't a huge fan of the controls and how you steer and everything, but yeah. See, Snowboard Kids is a game that I think is overrated. I don't think it's terrible, but I think it's overrated. Um, Mythologies is a game I think is underrated. I think it just gets way too much hate because most people tried playing it and weren't good enough to, to beat it. Like, it's not an easy game. Great pass.
All right, am I like missing something? I can't mess with the controls right now, can I? Because I thought B was a good way to steal the puck from people. And it just doesn't seem to be working. Um, how far away is Space Station, uh, Stinky? The puck is dropped. He strips him of the puck. Break away. Great save. I think it's, I don't think it's too far away. Welcome to the Roadkill Cafe. Dude, why? Risks it. Uh, <laughs> not a fan of some of the bosses, Fry Guy. Also, wait, Fry Guy, you're back. You're back so soon. Oh, come on. Blues Brothers 2000. I know nothing about that game. Never seen it, never played it. I just know it's a thing. Deadly Arts Extreme G2, yeah. Those are those are the next two games. Um, I was really disappointed with Extreme G2 because I really I love the first one, and the second one just isn't as good. Like they could have made the exact same game and just added new tracks and new music and some new cars, and I would have thought it was great. But they changed too much, and it just wasn't. It's just not good. Extreme G is one of the, the games I recommend to people if they like racing games. And Extreme G2, I wouldn't recommend that to anybody. Oh. You never heard of Blues Brothers 2000? Uh, there's probably a reason for it. But see, that's the thing. Like, oh, that was a great shot. If it was supposed to be this awful game, Blues Brothers, then I think we would have heard about it. You know, that generally happens. When the game's awful, you know about it because people talk about how awful it is. Like, um, you know, people think Mortal Kombat Anthology is awful. They talk about it all the time. Um, Superman, uh, Indiana Jones, The Infernal Machine. Like, those are games that you hear about how bad they are. Yeah, I know nothing about Blues Brothers 2000. I'm curious, though. Break away. Oh, man. Deck the wrong guy. Get it. He snaps it. He leaves him in a crumpled heap. He one times it. He runs him over. Wait, wait, no way. Oh, Blues Brothers 2000 was it. the same people that oh, made Superman? Titus? That, oh man, this does not bode well. Oh, he drilled out an old score. The game was even worse than the movie. That's impressive. I knew it was a movie. Southbound freeway, look out. Yeah, see, it's good to see all you guys. I feel like way more people tune into the early stream. Which like I wouldn't have expected. And drops him. What a bone crushing hit. Like I get the Europe the, the European guys tuning in. That makes sense. Oh, I just couldn't get it. Just couldn't get it. Right, 
Titus. <laughs> Poor Titus games. Yeah, I figured you'd be asleep when I late stream. Like, 8, eight o'clock Eastern, you know, it's not too bad if you're in the U.S. But if you're not, then it's rough for sure. He moves the puck up ice. He snaps it. Oh, great pass. Oh, you don't work on Tuesdays? Nice. Oh, crap. Denied. Yeah, I don't I normally don't have any work on Monday or Tuesday. So it's kind of nice. Save. But I have some stuff from the weekend I need to get done. Because I kind of forgot about it. So after this, I'll be. He stoned him. Northbound on a southbound freeway. Look out. You stick the record. Yeah. Yeah, I finally uh, started releasing a lot of my backlog. Like, a bunch of it I put on YouTube around, like, New Year's, and I just didn't schedule it to get released. I finally went and did that. And then I just beat a bunch of games, so... The Body Harvest is giving me trouble. I've been trying to, um... Render it, and put it all, make it all one file. And I've gotten errors on my computer each time, and... Obviously, that's tough because it was a freaking 18 hour game. So it's a long render. But I'm hoping I solve the problem in this next one. So much easier when I beat a game in one sitting and I don't have to like worry about piecing it together. I can't upload it in multiple parts. I used to do that. I did that for a long time, maybe like my first like 30 or 40 games. He wipes him out. And I just don't like it. Because um, it's, it's really annoying. Let's say you discover something on YouTube, right? But the first result is like part three. And then you have to find the other. Like it's just annoying, you know? It's so much simpler for viewers when it's all one piece. Now, if I was, like, producing this, like, a show, and I was releasing episodes, then, yeah, obviously, I'd, I'd split it up into parts because it would, it would like, just flow a lot better. But I'm not doing that. I should do, like, monthly updates. That'd be cool. A little monthly update video. Talk about everything I did in January. Maybe I'll do that. Although this month is going to be uneventful because I'm actually going to be in Japan for like 10 days. So I'm not going to be streaming for like the second half of February. Break away. He takes the puck away. Great save. Mike Piazza's Strike Zone? I already played that. It uh, was not as good as All-Star Baseball 99. Uh, I think I think Piazza's Strike Zone is probably the, s the second best baseball game I've played so far. But All-Star 99 is by far the best. He's in all alone. No, it's not the Dodo Convention. Good guess, though. He shoots. Uh, I, I will be streaming a Smash Brothers tournament while I'm there. It might be on this channel. I don't know. Probably not. It'll probably be on SSB64. Depends on how I'm feeling that day. 
Depends on what the internet's like, actually. If the internet's really good and stable and everything, I'll probably stream it on SSB64. If I'm not confident in the quality, it'll be on this channel. Oh, see? Should've been there. You have All-Star Baseball 2K1. Okay. I wonder, I wonder how good that is. 99 was good. So I'm assuming that the next ones One were better. In the second period. That's generally how it works in sports games. Skate save. <laughs> Yo, Black Panther. Thank you for the not sub. Thank you for the follow. Really appreciate it, man. Thanks. He is a human wall. Let's go, Oli. Let's go, Oli. Just different rosters. Yeah, oh, you wanted the okay. Um, I, I mean, I think you can create your own team and everything. In uh, most of the baseball games. I know someone was talking about how like if you you can play like the career mode or whatever and like end up trading for all the all the top players in the league and stuff and it's like kind of broken. Power Rangers Light Speed. Oh, uh, the Power Rangers game I think is pretty late in uh, the life of the N64. And drops him. Uh, I think, like, I think that was a 2000 game. Blocker save. He shoots. Yeah, it's it's funny, like playing sports games and. And seeing who's on the rosters and all that stuff, it's like, oh no, I need. I don't want the 98 roster. I want the 99 Play roster. Or like, you know, whatever. On a southbound freeway. One of the most out. boring games you've ever played, the Power Rangers game. That's disappointing. I've never played it or seen it. Save. I'm done scoring now. No more. Game on, everyone. I'll just let them play. Just out of curiosity, did you ever play StarCraft 64? Um, I have played it. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. The downside is there's a lot of slowdown on, on the 64. Um, but playing it isn't bad. Like you'd think, wow, wow, playing it on a controller would be like impossible. It's not bad. Um, but there is a lot of slowdown because there's just too much on the screen, and the console just can't handle it. I even tried playing it on an overclock console, and it really like didn't make a difference. There's just too much. That, StarCraft 64, that, I mean, that's going to be... That would be a good 24-hour stream, actually. Because there's so many... Um, there's all those campaigns, because it goes all the way to Brood War. So, there, I mean, there's six campaigns I'd have to play through. I don't think I'd finish it in 24 hours. Like I, I mean, I don't like remember enough of the missions. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. He shoots. The bonus level, Dark Moon. Honestly, I don't even know what that is. 
bonus level. Is that from Brood War or is that exclusive to 64? Yeah. Radagast, thank you. Thank you for the follow. Also, you have my number, 74. That was my number in college. Man, I was really hoping to get to Deadly Arts today, but it's... I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, I think I'll beat this and then probably be done. I might give you guys a sneak peek at the video I'm about to put out. Brood War. It's unlocked with a timer. Okay. Yeah, I don't know much about it. I'll have, to, I'll have to look into that. There's a chance I've never played it. I played a lot of StarCraft growing up because I'm a 90s kid. I remember playing all of those like custom games on oh, on uh, Battle.net where like you would be like all the different characters would be like Dragon Ball Z characters and you'd like have to go level up and like turn Super Saiyan and stuff. Like that was, that was fun. I played a lot of those. And uh, Tower Defense. Sneak Peek Arena, yeah, man. Um, I'm hoping my computer can handle it. The puck is dropped. I don't know if my computer can handle Reset. streaming and showing you guys stuff in Adobe After Effects. Like, it might be too much. He the Wait, puck. Blizzard ruined Warcraft 3? All custom maps with outside IPs get banned. That sucks. <laughs> Blizzard now owns any custom maps. Yeah, Dota. I mean, that was... That's kind of crazy, man. How big Dota got, like, got being a mod. I mean, if I were Blizzard, I'd be pissed about that, too. Yeah, that's a bummer. Those uh, the DBZ maps were really fun. The last two minutes of this game, I've just been hitting shoot. That's all I've been doing, and I scored a goal. Well, this one's history. What a game! Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Like, if I were Blizzard, I would. I'd be thinking about that. They're never gonna forget Dota. Ten to one. Get wrecked. Banning and removing maps. EA Sports welcomes you to the You have to press left, you can't press right. That's 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 unfortunate, but again, I I get it. I get it. From Blizzard. He shoots enormous save. Oh, it's in the... It was in the net. Damn. I mean, they'll figure that out. So as far as, like, servers being laggy and that kind of stuff. Game on, everyone. There we go. Off the post and in. It's like the first one I've gotten. They took away core features of the original game? What? Huh. I didn't... Uh, I really didn't play Warcraft 3. I played 1 and 2 and StarCraft. 
and Brood War, and that was it. I, I, when, when did Warcraft 3 come out? I, I, came, I think it came out when I was in high school. I just didn't play it. Just kept playing StarCraft. Granted, that's what a lot of people did. So. 2000. Yeah, okay. I, I remember I went to um, like a gaming cafe one time, and I played a bunch of Counter-Strike and Warcraft 3. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. He shoots! That was, uh, I think, the only time I played it. Oh. Oh, did he get smoked? Ooh, he got his bones rattled. He Easy. Gaming cafes, yeah, man. Uh, I mean, there's, there's a, there's a gaming lounge in Baltimore. Uh, we had our Smash Weeklies there for a few months. Uh, it's a cool place. Like I know the owner. I like him. Um, they don't do PC, though, yet. They just have console stuff. So, you, yeah, you go and people go and pay by the hour and uh, play PlayStation and Xbox and Switch. He hosts tournaments sometimes, too. Um, do people play StarCraft Remastered? Like, did that, did that pick up? Like, in Asia and stuff? Is that played competitively now? I thought, I figured it would be. But I, I don't, I didn't really look into it much. They had a league for it for a bit. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. I figured something would start up, you know, like on release, but I wasn't sure if it was how it was received after release. It's essentially the same. Yeah, I mean, that's what I was hoping, that they literally left it unchanged except for graphics. I mean, I guess there are probably some quality of life changes they could have made. Trap, you're just a, you're a hater, man. Hater. Welcome to the Roadkill Cafe. Some of these developers that Nintendo paired with for the N64, it's just like, Nintendo's just like, yeah, I mean, I guess we can make some free money off these guys. He shoots. Like, it's crazy how good some games are versus how bad some games are. Great save. Like, I just played Body Harvest, and that... The developers for that game Great went on to become pass. Rockstar, who made you know made GTA and everything, and like it's not a very well-known game. But like that was Nintendo taking a chance on a smaller shoots, developer, and yeah, they went on to become something really big and make games that <laughs> aren't on Nintendo. No quality of life because the league did not accept it. Uh, okay, so they left in all that stuff. That's cool. In the first period. 
Yeah, that's that's a bummer that the StarCraft uh, remaster was done so well, and then Warcraft one, not so much. Woo, we hit 50. 50 people watching. It's a new record. Without a raid. For sure. Well, not counting Smash tournaments. I don't count those. Might get like a couple hundred people watching. That. Takes them out of the play hard. Get them. Oh, I missed. Oh, man. Got lucky there. Remastered. Oh, see, that is what I expected to happen. Is if remastered was actually like a perfect remaster, that um, it would it would overtake StarCraft Two. Like I totally saw that one coming. I think a lot of people saw that. Coming. What the hell was that? He shoots. Rebound. Denied. Bro, these guys came to play. He takes the puck away. Huge one-timer, bang! The big one-timer. Oh, nice try. Wow. Uh. Wow. Wrist. He Fifty people watching N sixty four N sixty four sports. I mean, that does have to be a record, right? Especially for someone with like as few Game followers on, as I have. You know, like some big streamer could put on anything, and hundreds or thousands of people would watch. All right, that was the most wide open shot I've ever had, and it didn't go in. <laughs> Did it just get really Great quiet? Pass. Where are the roars of the crowd? He snaps it. Oh man, that shot. I remember um when I was playing Wayne Gretzky ninety-eight. Um, this, uh, this streamer game attack team raided me with like 80 people and it was me just cause the strat in that game was to get ahead and then just skate in circles, like literal circles, like <laughs> not even around the whole rink. And all these people were just like, what the hell did we get dumped into? I want to know who's view botting me. He steals the puck. <laughs> he shoots. He scores. That was a great play. You know those guys? Yeah, I mean, I watched uh, after they raided me. Uh, you know, I followed them and I watched a bunch of their streams. And then they just they started playing a lot more games that I wasn't interested in. So I, I stopped. I haven't watched them in a while. He crushes I like their stream though. Like the for like their f the format of their stream and how it's run and everything, I like that. It's pretty cool. I wish I could do something like that with like a group of people. That'd be sick. Craig's a gaming legend. He runs him over. He shoots. What a pass, tape to tape. He wipes him out. Risks it. I should challenge them. Be like you and your crew against me and the revolution. The Let them pick five games. And then it'd be a surprise. And I would just show up and, and beat them in all five games. Beautiful pass. Always oh, got a clear pass to the net. Oh, nice try. That'd be tough. They'd have to at least tell me what the games are. Northbound 
on a southbound freeway. Look out. Need like a like a one week heads up. They can at least learn how to play them. Nice try. No goal. All right, we did it. 51. We broke 50. He shoots. No. There should be music. Oh man, that that should have been a play. He's in all alone. Flattens him. Woo. Dude, remember in was it the nineties or the early two thousands? When they uh they put the, the they like highlighted the puck on TV. Skate save. He leaves him in a crumpled heap. Wrists it. <laughs> that went in? Game on, everyone. My one timers get blocked, but that goes in. He takes the puck. All right, away. time for B spam. Oh, huge save. Oh, the big one timer, baby. Yeah, what the hell? I'm, I feel like I'm being view botted. It says 57, but if you open up the thing in chat, there's only like 20 names on that list. <laughs> Sega CD greater than 64. Trip the hater. It's a two on one. Woohoo! I don't know, pop full mail? What the hell is that? It sounds like they're cheering Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. There's uh, this one guy on YouTube I, uh, I like a lot. I got him from because he was doing all these videos on um, the Metroid series because he like finally played it like finally sat down and played it he does these really good uh videos uh the geek critique but he's a huge sega fan sonic fan and i want to say he he talks about the uh sega cd a decent amount washington goal scored by number 22 slam city with scotty pippen That, uh, also, that was me just spamming the B button. That's all I did. That's all I've done this whole period, and I scored a goal. This game really is broken. The big one timer. Robbed. He shoots. Josh, you need that sound clip for uh, for Cobra. Just rob. Enormous save. Donkey Kong. He's in all alone. Oh, nice try. Uh -oh. And it's in the oh, come on. This version. Oh, really? The PlayStation PC versions have regular commentators. On, all right, that's funny. It's just this game. Risks it. 
All right, can we not have all these stoppages? We don't need this to take any longer. The puck is dropped. Skate save. StarCraft 2 is still big in tournaments. Okay. Oh, yeah. Dream hack and that kind of stuff. I mean, it, it, it like it makes sense that two is still the biggest, just because it's like the league, like the competitive scene is so established right now. He shoots. He stoned that him. it wouldn't just get uprooted like that. Oh, what a save! Oh. How does that go? Yeah, yeah, Josh. I feel like someone is like botting me. It just doesn't make sense. Like, open up your chat thing. How many names do you see? Like, 15? We just look good. Like, I would be happy there are 10 people watching. Right now. Try Mike. T R I Mike. Thank you for the follow. Beautiful pass. Yeah, the viewer list doesn't really make any sense because like you open it up and there are some names that I know are bots, but they show up in there. Like, um, what is it? The Commander Root and like the Electric Skateboard, like those that you always see. Oh, and then you got people like Streetwise, the regulars, just lurking in there, and the Zykes. Who subbed he's last time? Because he's awesome. He snagged that one. He shoots. Some popular pros got back to StarCraft One and Warcraft Three. That's cool. Nice try. No goal. Yeah, Street, I have a pretty different schedule he now. The puck. Um, I think it's in my panels. You can see it. it. Um, I do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So I added two days. But Tuesday, Thursday are now um, early streams. Like I start at 1 p.m. Eastern. Wow, and the Monday and Friday streams are the, uh, the late ones, the 8 p.m. starts. So yeah, and I know some of those like some of those Monday and Friday streams are just not gonna happen because I'll be traveling or something like that. But they are later, so maybe some Mondays. But yeah, I mean it's not like I'm super pro streamer. I'm gonna miss a bunch of nights. But now I have four, four nights. Which was really nice when I was playing Body Harvest. That game would have taken weeks on just one or two nights. Yeah, Riley, that's what I was saying, man. You check the list. It doesn't it doesn't add up, man. It doesn't add up. But I bet later when I get like my if I look at the summary or whatever, it'll still say that there were like sixty people watching. Beautiful pass. Yeah, out of here, Bagel. Thanks for hanging out, man. I'm glad you were mildly entertained. Yeah. <laughs> I want a munch. All right, that's a funny name. Thanks for the phone. He shoots. See, now the real question is, all these people following... Are they real people? We don't know. We don't know.
Bots everywhere. EA Sports welcomes you to the, the list only shows people in chat. Oh, sorry if I didn't see you say that. But wait, how could you be watching if you're not in chat? Like, isn't everybody in chat? Yeah, Bagel, you're definitely real. You're a real person. Posts? Well, hosts don't count as views, I didn't think. I thought you had to actually go to the channel. They count as views? I guess they do. I wonder who's hosting it. Front page. Definitely not front page. But that's cool. I didn't realize front page counted as views. Enormous save. Makes so much sense now. Tonight's face of the game is some cute little baby like it always is. <laughs> what? The announcer during face-offs does say some funny stuff. He's in all alone. We just don't really get to see it because we don't have that many face-offs. Because anytime their goalie gets it, I like run away so there's no face-off. So he'll pass it. The hosted channel gets full credit for all the viewers while you're in host mode. Oh, that's cool. I know that... Okay. I wonder if it's like new. Because I, I thought it used to just be like... Like, they're displaying on the host channel, and then the viewers can choose to actually go to the channel. But I didn't know if they... I don't think they always counted as viewers. That's cool, though. I wonder if anyone's hosting me. How can I check stuff like that if someone is hosting me? Is that on my dashboard? I don't know. I know I can see like who auto hosts me and that kind of stuff. Dr. Robo is now hosting me. I see that. How's it going, man? We've been watching uh, Flib's Banjo Kazooie run. Oh, did he just finish? And he's not online anymore. Blocker save! He's in all alone! He had a lot of people watching him play Banjo Kazooie. He should probably play that game more. Because it's great. great. Save. Oh, I only have one goal. I thought I had more. Yeah. Ape Escape speedruns. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you can see who's hosting you. I know you can definitely see who auto hosts you. I think you can see who's currently hosting as well. And I'll do a little B spam. Let's see. See, they, they, they like change the dashboard, and I don't know how, it, like, where things are. I don't even like know where to see it now. Because they changed everything, and I hate it. Like, why? Why did they do that? Stick save. Like, I can do that stuff. Oh, did he get smoked? The raid thing. All right, it must be. Count setting? No. I don't know where. Let's check account settings. 
pretty far. Out. Nice try! No goal. Auto heads, team heads, blah, blah, blah. He wipes him out. I see my host list. It used to actually like tell you who was hosting though. If someone was. I don't know if it does anymore. Oh well. I give up trying to find it. Back to the game. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Oh, no. Great save. I can't get scored on during beast, man. One minute left in the first period. This guy's a human. Oh, player. it was right in front of him. No. So apparently you can fight people in this hockey game, but it, it I don't know how it works. Like there was an option to turn fighting off, the... and I, I I left it on he's for like the first him. ten games I played and there were no fights. He's in all alone. Like, and I'm I'm trucking people sometimes too. Oh, the big one timer, baby. The fighting's jank in this. Yeah, I mean, the fighting in Wayne Gretzky 3D hockey is pretty funny. Oh, did he get smoked? How did you not get that, dude? He yeah, easy. Pile drive on ice. Yeah, that would hurt. It looks worse than any wrestling game. Oh, didn't get it past. Wow. He snaps it. The big one timer. Yo, can we just get this out of here? Yeah, I was pretty annoyed when Twitch just completely changed just their creator dashboard interface. It's like, great, now I don't know where anything is. Thank you. Thank you for that. And it's somehow, like, less intuitive. I just, I don't understand why these companies do this. Like, the new YouTube creator dashboard is a disaster. I hate it. And I'm going to be really dis... Like, I don't know what I'm going to do when they don't let us use the old version anymore. Skate save. That's going to be so awful. He leaves him in a crumpled heap. He's in all alone. Should have been there. Stick save. Start uploading on Pornhub. No, like, I can still use the old creator dashboard, but also, like, my job, I have to do a lot of stuff on YouTube, on the YouTube manager, the creator dashboard, so, like, if I can't use the old version, it's, like, I'm really going to be unhappy. I'm going to I'm gonna have to actually learn how to use the new one. It's going to suck. Got to pay the engineers to do something, right? Hey, you guys, make a new interface. But this one's fine. Ah, just make a new one. We have to. You have to do something. Twitch.center slash host check. Let's click it. Enormous save. 
Let's see. Great there are currently 16 users hosting That's a Dark Horse. All right, I see a lot of auto hosts on a southbound freeway. Look out. that I recognize, like CTG, Idril, Frostfoot, Nardwell, Cactus, Jared, Josh, Meerkat, Florida, Blur, the Blur app, Pugs, Hanson, Dr. Robo, SCB Sephora, Bros. Calamity. The one I don't recognize is Four Wings Gaming and Tiffabel TV. I don't know who those are. Great pass. Yo, good looking, uh, Streetwise. Oh, Tiff Bell's from 8-Bit also? I didn't know. I'm not super active in the uh, Discord, so it's probably a lot of names I don't know. Beautiful pass. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll have to follow her. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Four Wings game. I think that might be this guy, an FGC guy in Baltimore. I think it is. Oh, so we're still trying to solve the mystery of the viewer. Oh no, get out of there. What a goal. I thought I had the puck. All right, this is getting out of hand. The puck is dropped. Ooh, he got his bones rattled. He's in all alone. Oh, no, it's stolen. He shoots. Wraparounds, man. Wraparounds are legit. Got a bunch of goals off that. Oh, random British dude streaming. Hey, Game Attack team is streaming. They're playing Apex Legends. Yeah, see, I think that's what happened. They started playing a lot of, like, Apex Legends. And Boy, I was like... Hey. This is not what I wanted to tune in for. So they played a bunch of retro stuff, so I was like watching them, and then they just stopped. Huge one -timer, okay, all right, I calm down again. Do want this game to end eventually. Soon, hopefully. Like, he I like, like, away. Apex is a cool game and all. I just don't really want to watch people that are mediocre at it play. Period. Like, that's not really that fun. Watching, watching streamers play shooters when they're not that good it really isn't the same. They're just, like, dying over and over. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's rough. So many bad plays, man. Yeah, see, like, I've never played League, so I don't... I, I don't know what I'd be doing watching it. Um, crap, what's the mobile game that's, like, League? I'm blanking on it right now. I played that a decent amount when I was working at Blur. I had fun. Man, that name is just escaping me right now. Wow. Wow, what a pass, dude. Like, why the hell would you pass that way? No, not Dota. It's it's mobile only. I'd get it in a multiple choice if I saw it. Step save. Oh, come on. He steals the puck. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Nice try. No goal. He's in all alone. 
He stoned him. Beautiful pass. Oh, nice try. Uh, Control-wise, the game feels pretty good. Like the movements really smooth and everything. It, like, it's, it's a well-made game. They maybe went a little too realistic with the uh, the time it takes to change directions. Like that's not a very fun mechanic in a game. But because of it, it does make like pat like plays like I just had really satisfying and like everyone's flowing in the right direction and you can hit those passes. Like here, watch what happens. Like I'm gonna just try and change directions. Like, oh man, look at this. Oh, like that's that's rough. But I mean, you just kind of get used to it, and you round out your turns, and you switch guys a little bit more, and, and you can make it look really smooth. But as a casual who's playing this for the first time right now, I'm not as good at that. Oh. He strips him of the puck. This guy's a human wall in there. You don't mind watching people that, are, that aren't good at games Great as long pass. as they intend to improve. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's always nice, too. Yeah, if they're just like... Great. Like farting around and just being terrible, and and they're okay with it. That's not as fun. Like you're gonna tune in and, and watch me be really bad at some games because I've never played them before. But by the end, I'm usually decent. Like if you watch the first, uh, you know, like 20 minutes of me playing F Zero, you're probably like, oh man, this is uh, this is gonna be a long one. And then by the end, I actually looked like I knew what I was doing. Came on, everyone. He takes him out of the play hard. Wow, the, the movement in this game really gets you that, that turning when you pass to someone that's facing the wrong way, because then they take like a year and a half to turn around. Got a clear path to the net. Oh. Denied. Turok 2, yeah. Um, I like the first Turok, and I've never played any of the other ones. I heard Turok 2 is a very long game, though. So that aspect of it I'm not really looking forward to. I don't want to spend 20 hours playing a game. But if it's good, then that's fine. Like Body Harvest, I didn't mind playing it for a long time because it was good. He stops him and drops him. Like Hexen, I didn't really mind playing a lot because it's, it's good. Like if the reason it takes a long time is because I just keep dying a lot, like that sucks. That, then it's not fun. That's why like Duke Nukem sucked. He hit the post. Wow. Freight train choo. Freight train choo. Choo. Oh he my god, this game needs to end. Great pass. Oh, the big one timer, baby. He wipes him out. Oh, he's got a clear path to the net. Oh, is there someone on my team there? Oh, I was just too far away. He shoots. Oh, what a save. All right, one minute, come on. 
One minute left in the third period. I don't remember. Is this is this game three or four? I think I have to play one more game after this. And then that's it. Enormous save. Beautiful pass. Dude, pass it to your own team, Oli. Jesus. And time has run out on this one. Oh, that's it. Nice. Look at that. Look at these. Look at that animation. Who the hell was that? That's it. All right. 